Installing. Please stand by. It was a blast. There was like eight people, uh, excluding the coaches, which were which was only one. And everything was outside. It was pretty great. And the weather was perfect. I think it was like 18 to 19 degrees. The only downside was that I was trying to get back into it. So I was like, yeah, I'll take some more lightweights, you know, just like a little bit more lighter than I'm used to, right? Because it's been like almost four months ago. <laughs> and all of the lightweights <laughs> were taken, man. Everyone was just all the same. They were, they were just practicing with lightweights and they were all like, Oh man, this shit is so heavy, what the fuck? <laughs> it was fucking beautiful. Oh man. And now I'm sore as fuck and I'm not sure if I'm, I'll, be able, I'll be able to play. Like, my muscles even twitching at this point, it's pretty funny. Mm. But I'm not gonna lie, it felt really good. Alright, anyways, I'm feeling it, boys. I hope you're feeling it as well. Let's get straight into it. Bane versus Ups, game one. Initialized. Initialized. And once again, we're playing on a very popular map during this regal season. We are playing on the map Amsterdam, made by none other than Whippy. And we are starting in a allied mirror match, actually, between Ups and Bane. Ups starting in the bottom right corner, playing as Germany. And Bane is starting in the top left corner, playing as Germany as well. Pretty big map, pretty... Uh, I like this map as well. Obviously, it's... It's a favorite among the players. Uh, it's a pretty open map, uh, which we don't have a lot of those in the season. But uh, also a pretty big map, so a lot of War Factory first or Rack Skip players will enjoy this map as well. But it's not that uncommon to see double ref action here, and we are seeing it from both of these players here. And Bane actually being very aggressive, trying to go straight for that oil. But this is the reason why I'm telling you guys why War Factory first is like common on this map is is even if you go for it straight from the first rifleman, it's all it's almost impossible to get to deny the first oil cap. Um, oops, uh, was actually, his instinct was right there. He wanted to go for the hospital, but he didn't felt safe. And he was right. If he went straight for the hospital, he would have gotten sniped right there. Well, Bane's still very aggressive here. So that means Ups is able to lose his oil pretty early on. Ooh, oops, doesn't trust it, doesn't want to go for it. Let's see what Bane has planned. Obviously, he will not take a good trade here if Ups is going to abuse the vision of the oil here. Hey, Mega Tank, my friend. How you doing, boy? Good to see you again, brother. How's it going in London, man? How's the weather? Because the weather over here was fucking great, but I know that's not the case in England most of the time <laughs> compared to Europe. Alright, there's Bane. Ooh, Bane is actually investing in three extra medics and only two rocket soldiers. So that is telling me this is not that uh, bad of a bet that Bane is doing here. Because normally you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is he already going? Oh, no. It's some. Something. No. <laughs> Bane, the rocket soldier. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That that had to be a misclick. And now the medic is going to go to the ups gods as well. And here comes the ranger. And now Bane is at a disadvantage here. He does have the rockets, but he doesn't have the, vin the vision. And look at that. Ups is just cleaning it up. Even with the two medics that Bane had. Nice sniping from Ups as well. Taking out the medics there. Jesus Christ, what a cleanup. Just because of a simple misclick. That could have been really good for Bane there. He was uh, really confident to take that oil. He brought the engineer along with him as well. But now he has the light tank. Ups didn't have a rocket soldier or three rocket soldiers in his army. So lots of veterancy boys are going to get cleaned up here. 
Let's have a look at the... Oh, I saw that, you sneaky harvester. You tried to get away, huh? Let's see how Bane is doing. Uh, well, not, not too good, actually. He's not building. He's not building anything. From his conyard. And uh, meanwhile, Ups is going for it. It's going for DSD. There we go. Bane was almost still ahead, but he lost a lot of time. And let's have a look at the combat up here. Yeah, that was really unfortunate for Bane. That was a huge investment as well. That army consisted of three rocket soldiers and three medics. That alone is already 1500 assets. And then I, I think he probably had like maybe 10 to 15 riflemen. So that's probably around 3k that he lost there. Smart idea from uh, Bane to go for the ranger as well. Not sure if he still has the light tank. He should have. I don't think the light tank encountered any rocket soldiers. Yeah, let's have a look at the army. I should be able to see that, right? Okay, he lost it. Been using the ranger here pretty wisely, but he must be careful though. Took out a rocket soldier, I believe, and I, I don't think he's aware of this army. I don't think he realized that they were there. And this is, this is always dangerous. I feel, it, I feel it barely pays off. Um, it can, but it's such an open field that he. If he's paying attention, he just has to deploy, and then there's a pillbox in your face, and yeah, just like this, right? Corner has been placed down. Oh, 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 wait, 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 Bane didn't have a pillbox? Wait, he does have a pillbox ready. Let's hope he snipes the rocket soldiers. He doesn't. Oh, the MCD barely makes it out. Man, this could mean trouble for Bane. Ups is going for it. He's feeling it. He's moving everything forward. Meanwhile, he put he slapped the ref down and he's going to uh, take hold of the middle here. But yeah, I don't think that Ups can do it. He has to make a choice and he's going to make the choice to defend his fortification in the middle. And Bane luckily kept that safe for now. A nice cleaning up there from Ups. Let's switch back over to combat tap. Ups still slightly ahead after that cleanup. The weather is nice today, man. Thank God. It's been really fantastic here as well. We're almost getting close to summer once again. Oh, oh, damn. That's one giant wall. But I feel some vision is required. But like I, I always feel like a giant wall like this can give you like a false sense of security, right? All right, let's see. That's a big army from up here, supported with five medium tanks and a couple of mechanics to keep the medium tanks alive. And more medium tanks are joining the party here. Ups is on double war factory. I was just about to say that is a lot of tanks. But Bane knows it's there. Hmm. Might be a good idea to uh, perhaps to bring his MCV along. Just for the support with the static defenses. It's going to make it a much uh, better engagement for him. Seeing NG Cap in the chat. In the oh, oh, ooh, that was really close. Ranger just got it in time. Nicely done from uh, Ups, though. Nice awareness. The engineer was probably already sitting there, but he was paying attention. But here comes another MCV from Bane. He has three MCV. No. Don't turn it into a Bane MCV. Yeah, Ups is moving forward. That is going to go down. That is going to be huge. Because with that support, Bane could have turned it around. I think he's still favored to take this engagement. 
but he has to stop here because without oh, oh smart he had a mechanic along with him that's that's nice wait did i just get jebated and so did oops was this all planned am i giving him too much credit right now or is this man just a fucking genius baiting the army here with the mcv he had a mechanic prepared or he just probably queued it up the moment it died but oops went for it and that's why bane took a favorable trade there oh talking about taking favorable trades another bane mcv going down oops push that small fortification that bane built up here with the mcv that was already low i don't think bane ever repaired it last time i checked it was still on like 10 percent health yeah, not good. But yeah, Bane still has two MCVs left. And they're just going to parade through this tank and this tank has no idea who to shoot. Nicely done from Bane. Oh, this is interesting from Bane as well. That's why he moved the main MCV up there. I like it. This is... A little bit better than the protection from ups, but still debatable. But at least this gives him a fair amount of vision and a fair amount of like resistance to give him time to move his army back to the main. Not a bad decision. And now he's getting hold of the middle as well. He's going to send the MCV up there. Interesting. Ooh, that's a nice flank from ups just straight to the middle. Finds a lot of harvesters, but Bane has an army close going to pull the harvesters back ups is going to go in and he's not going to get any harvesters close though very close oh how is this possible being he's putting so many mcvs at risk all the time but once again he's on three mcvs and this mechanic is trying to steal this tank but it's still alive buddy you have to wait your turn did secure the mcv up here it's about <laughs> he's just scouting around with the mcv in the dark however this is a hole in ups defense though and ups was trying to create the same strategy over here oh is this an ups mcv now oh keeps it safe Still, Ups has the bigger army though, and he has a couple of turrets over here, so he is, he's base crawling, he wants to take this position, and that's a pretty good uh, position to get a hold of. Straight in front of Bane's main, still has key structures in there, SD, etc. Alright, Ups scouted it out, knows that that is there, and I think Bane now knows about the wall, yep. Ups, build a wall. Very interesting first game already. Ooh, those are probably from Bane. Yes. Yep, yep. Blocking the turrets with the concrete walls. Yo, Whippy, how you doing, man? Good to see you, buddy. Ooh, talking about turrets, here's another base push from Ups on the other side, but also Bane here is ready with the walls. Now going to send the rocket soldiers forward, and that's a pretty good investment, not going to lie, it's a good trade. Ooh, but Ups found a way in, but he's about to be sandwiched as well by these reinforcements from Bane. This is going to arrive a little bit late, has no tank support though, and Bane of Ups has so many tanks over here. But it seems like it's not going to matter that much. Even though Bane is not taking favorable trades here. Ups is doing a pretty good job with his tanks here. Nice micro. He's, a, he's going to clean up that bottom army though from Bane. But unfortunately he is going to uh, retreat here. <laughs> Meanwhile this MCV is just chilling. Uh, the, the, the driver has, is, uh, has gone off and taken a piss. Alright there he goes. Back uh, behind the wheel. Damn. And meanwhile Bane is playing... Bane the Builder over here, pretty much. With his concrete walls. But... His construction was not yet complete. And there we go. Well, the walls work very nicely in Bane's favor, though, because the way he cuts it off... Uh, 
makes it very easy for his army to just transfer over here compared to what Ups has to do. He has to go all the way around. Very interesting game still. I think both parties still have a chance to win this. Eco-wise, uh, he's looking a lot better for Ups actually in terms of earn as well. His eco has been better throughout the entire game so far. Bane just has been a little bit stronger in keeping his army safe and taking favorable trades. And there is Bane once again trying to restore his base in the middle. And Ups had the same plans. He was trying to take that position from Bane and that would have been a really crucial position for Ups to get. Seems like all the action is about to happen in the middle. Look at this giant army from Bane moving in. And a... Jesus, I don't have words for this, but that was a giant concave, but it's not going to matter. Ups has a very strong position here and still lots of tanks. He's on the third war factory as well right now. But uh, we're still actually... This could have been a match that was from the low tech tournament that was hosted by Netnaskill where both players were limited to only having SD tech. Because it's minute 16 almost and we haven't seen any radar dome plays from neither of these players. There was a very nice wall from Bane but oops, he wants some of that eco man, he's getting dried out. He wants more, he needs to keep those three war factories running. Bane is ready to defend that and he's also moving the MCV over once again. So we're going to have a pretty even fight here. Meanwhile, Upsis has splitted his army off and he's going into the middle where Bane just had left. And he's going to take out another, well, I wouldn't say crucial ref because very bad ref placement here. But it is a double mine though that he's going to deny yet again. Ooh, and a very nice small eco rate here from Ups as well. Not looking good here for Bane in terms of eco. But he still has 9 harvesters. So he should be good. But there is Ups sending a couple of tanks forward. There's no turrets or army at all there from Bane. And this has been a very nice split from Ups. It's being very effective now. Bane has, is just retreating back to the main. And he has just cleaned this up. And there is Ups once again with just 3 rocket soldiers. And that is enough to, um, to just destroy that eco from Bane in the bottom. And so many medium tanks. Oh, there's a radar dome. But that is still one massive army from Bane. Not a lot of tanks, but... Ooh, there's no rockets in that army at all. And Ups is spamming artilleries now, and I'm actually curious how long is his production. He's on 3, so he's not on maximum yet. 13 seconds for a medium tank, that is not bad at all. Still, being in the lead in terms of army right now, but I'm not sure he's in the lead in terms of eco. And if he can't keep up that production, then eventually Ups is going to push through with yeah, three war factories, and especially now Radar Dome. He has the possibility to melt a lot from this army. And he's going in with mainly tanks and... Well, it doesn't really matter, there's no rocket soldiers, but it doesn't seem like Ups recognizes it here. Oh, just going to let the Arties deal with it, that's smart. Let's see, there's Bane going for the counter with his gigantic barf block. Going to take out the eco from Ups here once again. This position has been handed over one another every single time but this is not looking good for Bane actually he's he doesn't have any rocket soldiers oh, the 
Bane is going to lose his main. And that is going to be a huge deal. Bane has just been playing ping pong with his army. Going bottom to top to bottom the entire time just to defend. But he's losing a lot of structures along the way here. Oh man, and this could be big. This could be big if Upsy is about to micro. If he can keep those RTs safe. There's only one tank alive. They're, they're both still alive. And this entire army is going to be melted if microed well here. Let's see if Ups does it. Yep. Look at those purple numbers pop up. And that is going to be it. Even though Bane pushed through, he lost everything there. What a game. And the first game is going to Ups, ladies and gentlemen. And we're only just getting started. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. Alright, anyways, we are starting on Annihilate, also one of the popular map picks in this current season, made by Mr. Poop. Yes, I did just say that. We have, once again, an allied mirror, both players going for Germany here. Bane starting in the top right, and up starting in the bottom left. Let's see if this is going to be action-packed as well. Let's hope that Bane can turn it around, especially he was very unlucky in the early game with that one misclick. Uh, made him fall behind and he was... Well, actually, he was able to take the game still, but gave him a massive, massive disadvantage early on. Wow, Bane's rifles have really bad aim. Took them a long time to take out the barrels. Or that could say something about Bane, but you never know. Unfortunately, he hasn't achieved much. He doesn't want to take a risk just like last time, it seems. So he's just going to secure his oil. But I feel that is pretty good for Ups because he invested in his engineer a lot sooner. So he's just going to have a little bit more eco. And that could give him, that could result in like maybe a couple of extra riflemen. It's always hard. I feel like there's never a good way to go. Like some people go, the, obviously this also is dependent on a lot of oil placements, right? You could go engineer first into 15 rifles. Some do 10 engineer and then five or five engineer 10. You know, but I feel there's never like a good or bad choice. Obviously, like I said, it's map dependent. But yeah, sometimes you just have to take a guess. But in this case, Ups went for it a little bit sooner. Does he'll get that oil sooner? He'll probably get it. He probably had a few, one or two extra ticks before Bane got an oil. So that's 200 assets basically. So that's two riflemen. That's good. But the downside about it is you go head to head on and you went for engineer first, obviously your opponent is going to have more rifles. But this is a smart choice from Bane as well, he's immediately denying that. Now let's see what Ups is going to do. Is Ups going to... Yeah, Ups is going to try and take out that army. He has the Ranger coming into place as well, so he has the vision advantage just like last time. But I think Bane is going to get away. It's interesting. He, uh... Ups, I was thinking that Ups was going to challenge that. He's going to challenge it now. He's trying to take out the rocket soldiers, but he's a little bit unfortunate. But now... He still has the vision advantage, though. Even though Bane is hiding behind the oil, Ups still has the advantage in terms of vision, and he's still able to snipe those without Bane shooting back. It's going to check out the other oil here. Oh, and... Oh! Oh! Oh, Bane was... He, ba he baited himself. He was like, oh shit, I have to move. And he lost the engineer still. 
and he didn't capture the oil. If he just let the engineer die after capping, he still would have gotten the oil, which, have, which would have been a lot better. But unfortunately, he had second thoughts and he got punished for it. Oh, and he's not taking good trades here. Nice positioning from Ups. As you can see, he has a very nice vision advantage over Bane. But Bane still using his Ranger well. Placed it nicely in the opposite direction. So they had an even advantage. It was looking a little bit grim for Bane there, but he just pushed through and eventually upped, Ups backed off. Feel the rat of the oil gods. Wow. That engineer was having second thoughts at the end of getting in or not. Alright, I also feel a medic from Bane here would be a good investment. Alright, let's switch over to the combat tabs because we're getting close to having our second MCV. It seems like Ups has delayed his MCV a little bit as well here. As you can see, he's already on 5 axes to maximize production. 7 is the max you can go. And obviously Bane will have his MC a little bit sooner, so Ups will have a little bit faster infantry production and Bane will have a little bit uh, faster map control capabilities. Oh, but this is not good. I'm not sure what, what Bane is trying to do here. Just had a meet and greet with Ups army around the pillbox table. Oh, that's that's pretty interesting actually putting a rax down there and a pillbox before moving backwards and also putting a ref slapping a ref down over here as well it's not building though that's a little bit unfortunate there we go all right so he has that on lockdown basically let's see if Bane can deny ups here as well, and if he can, then he will be in a very good position. But ups is sending everything he has basically to guarantee him this position. However, Bane is reinforcing over there, and they're having the same amount of tanks, and it's not going to take long. Ooh, well, this is not a good idea from Bane, but Bane obviously has no idea and he immediately retreats when he sees the army approaching. That's really nice. He's not sending the main MCV forward though, so he's not feeling confident yet. And this is smart from Ups as well. He recognizes that this absolutely cannot be the biggest army from Bane, so that's why he's still producing on them in the main base, which is smart because Bane has an army sitting there and there is Ups almost doing a Bane MCV. He was going a little bit too far forward. And here comes Bane with his MCV as well, so we're going to have an expansion war over here. Pretty good turret. From Ups, meanwhile, I'm seeing some purple walking through the borders of Bane. And Bane was just about to go flank that main base from Ups. But, oh, the pillbox just caught that rifleman. And Ups saw that. So he's going to be prepared for this uh, split here. Bane was able to keep that safe. Offensive War Factory did lose the racks, though. Meanwhile, on the other side, Ups is crawling closer here. Let's see how this is going to go down. Going for a radar dome early on. Yeah, good to notice from uh, Gotier, he's still on three Raxes, so... Oops, he's going to be able to pump out that... That army a lot faster, and if you look at the economy here, yeah, I was about to say, Bane is obviously going to float because... He's just earning more than he can spend at this point. It's a good choice he went for the second War Factory, but it's not going to cut it, he's going to need more Raxes, and uh... If he goes for Raider Dome, he has the possibility to pump out a little bit more aircraft. But he's going straight for Allied Tech Center here. No nonsense. He just wants that Tanya. Those Radar Jammers, I'm guessing. And 
maybe even chrono tanks wow but this is holding the line here by ups defend the ref at all costs the conyard has moved out a little bit just to be safe but it can still provide defenses but this is a giant army from bane and it's going to push forward I don't think it's going to succeed, but it did a lot of damage. But I don't think he took a favorable trade there. Let's have a look at the combat tab real quick. Well, I lied. His eco is still looking decent. This has been very micro intensive over here. I like it. Situations like these are always lovely to see and these are pretty much situations that sometimes require the same focus as or strategic plays as chess basically. This is also nice from Bane but a little bit poor from Ups. He could he should be able to snipe the infantry. But this is nice though, he's getting two medium tanks across into the eco lines here. Alright, and this is the Bane has enough move here. He's going straight for the main, he's going to gather all of his armies with the Arties as well. He's going to try and go straight for the main here. There's Radar Dome Tech here as well with all of these Raxes, War Factory and SD. So losing this base is going to be GG, which it, which it is most of the time. But. Nice merging armies from Bane here with the tanks leading forward. And that single RT is unfortunately not going to cut it. Let's see if Bane is going to retreat because he's only on two medium tanks. Nope, he can feel it. Ooh! firing one last shot straight in the middle made a hole in the blob but if Bane can hold here let's see if he moves the tanks forward because his infantry is taking a lot of damage wait where's that ta wait what the how does he do that what Okay, that was weird. Anyways. Not looking good here for Ups. Bane was able to hold. Has been on tier 3 for a while. Although I'm not entirely sure. Has Bane even used tier 3? He's just he's building a Tanya just now. Is that the laugh of defeat? the cry of victory for Bane. It is the cry of victory for Bane. Ups calls the GG and there is the equalizer ladies and gentlemen by Bane. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say convincingly Ups fought pretty well and pretty strong just like the first game. So I feel like it's going to be far from over. Battle control terminated. Battle control initialized. was even better in Belgium I bet it was that's the that's one of the only things that I miss when when I moved to the Netherlands or since I moved to the Netherlands because obvi obviously I moved up more north so it's a lot colder the weather was a lot more lovely in Belgium but regardless the weather is beautiful over here in the desert of Nomad we are here once again the semi-finals playoffs of Raggle season 10 between Ups and Bane we're having our Third allied mirror match here. Bane starting in the bottom and Ups starting in the top. Man, I love this song. This song is really good. I think this is one of the hypest songs from RA. I really like it. 
All right, we're going to see both going double ref here. Hmm. Interesting. Not that big of an investment from uh, from Bane here. Only 10 versus 20 from up. So he's... I'm assuming he's going in aggressive. I mean, that's the only reason why you should go 20 rifles, I believe. Otherwise, I don't think it's worth the... Early investment. Because investing 20 early on is... Yeah, yeah, he should, he should be good. Usually you can build 20, but I've never seen like people go 20 and then immediately build the engineer. Normally you delay it just a little bit to not stall. Let's see if he's going to make use of it. Oh. Bane went for War Factory first with an investment of 10 riflemen. Interesting. And he's choosing to not build a light vehicle to compensate. Also, no investment in static defenses. So that can work. That can definitely work. We will get an eco advantage really fast that way. He's already going to be on four harvesters around minute three. So he's able to start production. Oh. Interesting. Going for another harvester here instead of a ref. Which is still pretty good uh, depending on the timing we're at. But the distance here is a little bit, a little bit bad. But let's see what the second war factory is going to do. Is he going to go for some early light tanks? Let's find out. There's the ranger from UPS taking some big damage, but it was all. Uh, I was like, what? It's a ghost, but it was, it was not was a lovely surprise. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, the two war factories. Let's see how this turns out. I, I have no idea where this is going. He's already on six harvesters. And now he's not, not building any vehicles. Okay, well, I'm not sure if that investment is going to be worth it. We might have the same situation as last time where Bane had not that many racks as compared to Ups. But he does have a very... if he can... like... He's going to obviously sacrifice a couple of racks for War Factory, it's going to be obvious. But let's see if it pays off. And just lost the ranger there unfortunately but he's moving pretty aggressively just only infantry no vehicle support whatsoever i'm guessing he's going for the oil and then retreat but he could be in for a retreat yep if ups decides to count it i don't think he's going to make it in time no he's just going to let it go oh nice but on the other side, Ups was able to capture that oil from Bane. Really nicely done. And he's out of there. Very late MCV from uh, Ups once again. Seems like he delayed his eco a little bit, but I think it's still it's well timed. His uh, double mine patch is about to dry out. So the eco slide is going to be necessary here. Maybe even move a harvester over there. Yep, perfect. And there's Bane going in pretty aggressive, taking what is actually supposed to be an expansion from Ups. Very interesting here. <gasps> Bane, just like his engineers, or just like his MCVs, he also treats his engineers the same way, and he gets punished for it. 
That single rifleman is going to die a hero regardless. Shut up, phone. Oh, and talking about being aggressive, there is Ups with his entire army moving the MCV forward here, taking the same expansion that Bane took from Ups. So we're going to have a pretty strange uh, divide here in terms of map control. Although actually, I do think this is better than what I usually like to do. I usually go for this expansion as well if I'm the top player. And then I usually after that try to close off the middle, mostly this side. But I think this is easier for both sides to defend like this. Let's find out if that is the case. I'm not sure where Ups was trying to go with this army, but now it's a little bit out of position. And Bane is able to do a little bit of damage. He's not going to take any risk. That's smart. This is also pretty smart from Ups trying to move the Ranger forward. Meanwhile, Bane was trying to flank, didn't get any harvesters, and Ups was ready. He's now chasing that army to kill it off. Alright, there's Bane making more axes than last game, so comes to show that he actually recognized that as well last game but he's already on a lot of medium tanks let's see how that is making a difference in the combat value wow okay it's still uh in ups's favor pretty much but that's still a lot of tanks but that doesn't matter if they're not here to fight and now they're retreating all the way back and this MCV has to go back to the main as well, and this is actually not looking good. But this could also be a bait for ups, like sometimes it's just too good to be true. Oh, okay. Bane, is, Bane didn't move in as fast as he could. Already lost the SD, he's going to lose a war factory. Is that the reason why he built two war factories? in himself and that's why he made two just to be sure but he did lose the SD though and he's going to lock in that army well still a good trade for ups regardless and now he's on double war factory as well but his tank production hasn't been interrupted and there's Bane with radar dome as well so let's see if he's going straight for that yep Straight for that SD. Now are we going to see a retaliation here? I'm not sure if he has time to retaliate. Let's see what decision he's going to make here. While his expansion is going to be under attack once again. That's a lot of tanks. A lots of rockets to deal, to deal lots of damage here. And that's a pretty good eco expansion for Bane. Going to immediately evacuate the MCV already. He has lots of pillboxes sitting up here, so he's going to give up the radar dome. Ooh, nice attack from Ups here as well. He's pretty much got the main base on lockdown. I don't think Bane's army is going to be on time. Ups can just shift his production to the main. To hold off that attack. Meanwhile, Ups is pushing forward and he's getting a lot of luck on his side. And he's able... To, oh. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. I know how it feels like and I sometimes do that as well. But that is really unfortunate. But that's really good for Ups. Taking out the SD once again along with that MCV. And a pretty good expansion. And he has taken out a couple of harvesters here and here as well. Let's have a look at the eco by the way. Five harvesters for Bane. Seven for Ups. But Ups is floating 6k and his income is almost doubled compared to that of Bane. And if you look at the destroyed loss tab here in terms of ratio, well, well in Ups' favor. So, so far this is looking like it's going to be a game for Ups, but you never know, Bane came back from worse. But it's pretty chaotic.
Everywhere I look, there's just a little bit of action going on here. There's once again a snipe onto the MCV, or at least an attempt. But Bane had a little bit of army sitting there, and he put up the pillbox. And there's his third SD coming into play. Game is still pretty even in terms of army value. Bane really took a blow in terms of eco. So he has to rebuild his eco ASAP if he wants to keep up production with ups who is on two war factories as well, if he wants to stay in the game. Okay, he's going to take out that power plant, that's nice. Nicely from ups here. Just retreated to support his MCV, because with just with that extra support, he's able to take that out pretty efficiently. Oh, and there's Bane sending in more Infantry straight into the pillboxes. Oh, yeah talking about MCVs. That's the fourth MCV from ups by the way Did we just go back in time? Oh, oh. Jesus even I felt that one Just not looking good for Bane here, lost a lot of army. Now Ups' army value is almost double. Definitely not worth taking out the oil. I feel like it's always dangerous to do that if you're retreating. Because I know most players like to chase, especially with tanks, uh, they like to chase down a retreating army just to get... It, it works so well, you know? Medium tanks make the infantry prone and all your chasing riflemen just finish them off. And most of the time you don't have any resistance because the player is just retreating with move command. A nice attack from Ups here as well. Bane is trying desperately to, to uh, restore his eco. But he's getting overrun and there is the GG from Bane. So the third game is going to Ups and we're going into the fourth game and potentially match point for ups battle control terminated